came from Germany with her left hip pain, which restricts her activities. Uh, she has been using painkillers for a very long time, but uh, unfortunately, the osteoarthritis prevent her doing regular activities. I had since uh, more than five years, I had problems in my um, Actually, this scenery, uh, I was not sure whether I was regarding the bones or uh, other things like colon or whatever. In the first moment, I could not like uh, taking too much heavy weights on my left side and I could not walking up the hill and I had uh, problems to walk stairs. It was an increasing process over the years. Then I had a uh, surgery, another surgery in that area. I had a bladder surgery and I thought this may be the reason for my pain. And this actually was not. Actually, it needed four years to get the right diagnosis. But I went to some doctors and professors. They advised me uh, to do some gymnastic as just they could treat like some easy to do workout and uh, to lose some weight and to take uh, some pills for the inflammatory process but actually all these things didn't help the progress uh, was really worsening so that i e even experienced um, pains in the night time so we asked friends and a friend of mine she gave us the address of medipool and finally, really, um, we found out that Dr. Ibrahim, um, as boy. When we examined her hip, the joint space was narrowed and her hip motion was reduced. And we discussed detail about treatment options and we uh, proceed with total hip replacement. So we prepared her surgical total hip replacement uh, is an excellent uh, surgical option for severe osteoarthritis of the hip. We prepare patient before surgery. We do some lab laboratory tests. If they have anemia, we correct their anemia. If they have vitamin D deficiency, we increase their uh, vitamin D level. Also, we check for urinary tract infection, dental abscess. We try to reduce any um, immune system problem and we would like to enhance the immune system to fight with any possible infection. He suggested surgery at the very first point. He suggested the surgery uh, at almost the first visit. Uh, I went to other doctors, they suggested just to go on and wait. Wait for, I was thinking what I'm waiting for. And uh, really he said, he was one of the first doctor he's, who, who said, we can do an operation for you. I don't see any difficulties. And uh, since you are in that age, you really uh, would get, get a lot of advantage in your coming years. Visual prosthesis can help you over the next uh, decades. And actually it went well. We went uh, on 7 of uh, February uh, last year, we went and uh, everything went so well in Medipo. Uh, the staff was very helpful. Uh, we had no uh, difficulties uh, in communication skills because there was always a translator for us um, and everything was going so smooth, even in Corona times, which was not to be expected. The pa patient can walk immediately after surgery. Uh, they can be active in one or two months after physical therapy. Physical therapy is important after surgery. It takes about one month to regain the muscle strength and activities. After six months, we allow them to do every type of activities. They can swim, they can walk, they can play tennis. Patients are afraid of complication, but new technology and new implants can survive up to 30 years, 35 years maybe. Biological fixation is enhanced. So we advise patients, if they have severe pain, please don't postpone your surgery for 20 years or 30 years and enjoy the result of total replacement.